We've got a couple of product review videos to make. <clears throat> um, one of them was uh, another. Actually, I got another couple of those small solar generators. <clears throat> one from a company called All Powers. They sent me one before, and it was a dud. But they sent me a new one, and solar panels. And I think it was their. You know, we really want to try with this. <clears throat> so, anyway, make a long story short. How much mess can I make here? Yeah, not as much as I thought. So, I, I know that product videos aren't my best videos. They certainly don't get the views I need <clears throat> to make my channel grow. I always lose subscribers. But you guys have to realize that it's that kind of... Uh, partnership or sponsorship that kind of pays the bills around here i'm not getting rich at youtube by any stretch of the imagination and i'll be completely transparent in the 12 month stretch of youtube the advertisers budget the people that <clears throat> you've probably already skipped all of the ads which is cool but the advertisers that would advertise to you they have an advertising budget and they dole that money out very very slow in the first quarter, a little bit more in the second quarter, a little bit more in the third quarter, and then they spend the last of it, the rest of it, in the fourth quarter. So in complete transparency, I would probably make this month about, uh, say, $400 on ad revenue, and in the last quarter of this year, I'll probably make $800, maybe $1,000 in ad revenue. If things are going, you know, stay, stay, stay the course the way they are, I mean, anything can happen from day to day. So when I pick up a, or if I get an email from a company that wants to send me some product to review, and we've sold a few of these solar generators, and I get 5% kickback, I'm certainly not getting rich on it, but it all adds up to a tank of fuel, a cell phone bill, um, a hard drive to keep video on. So it takes about two hours of my day. When you see a video uploaded, it means that I've, I've spent about two hours of extra moving the cameras around and... Um, editing the, the footage, making sure that I'm chopping out of it things that are unnecessary or that I've repeated myself or that I've repeated myself. Sign of a good teacher is that they repeat themselves. Sign of a good teacher is that they repeat themselves. I got to figure out, I got to drill this hole out in these gas cans. These are terrible. Or I need to come up with a, a better way to uh, dispense fuel. I like to have a fuel storage system. I like to have about 100 liters in the back of my truck and that would give me a tank of fuel in my tractor and two tanks of fuel in my processor which is about right so that's 80 liters here and 20 liters in the tractor and as soon as this cans in i'm going to start this machine up thaw it out and i'll get the other can but you won't be able to hear a word i'm saying because of this crazy microphone so i have to buy a new microphone and that's all i mean youtube has to pay for that if it comes out of my pocket, then it's kind of a pointless endeavor, isn't it? This is Catch-22. These content creators, little content creators, little channels such as myself, you invest money in computers and software and camera equipment and microphones and drones and tripods and all of that business. Spend $4,000 on equipment pretty fast just to find out that it's certainly not going to pay, but... I've been slowly, organically growing this channel, and it's working out. So I'm going to just stay the course, and as I outgrow things or I break something, I'm just going to replace it. But for now, you're going to have to put up with this crappy sound. Um, I wish I could change it overnight, but it's not likely going to happen. I might return this microphone next week, and I'm just going to give it an honest, an honest chance and see if there's a, a software glitch that my camera my phone are picking up and um, using it to... Uh, for noise reduction instead of the microphone. So maybe it's not the microphone at all. It might be operator error, which is completely plausible. That was needlessly difficult to start. The reason is my injection pump is leaking, and I have to uh, crank that over enough so that the lift pump and the injection pump fills all the lines again of fuel. 
So until I get my injection pump replaced, that's exactly what's going to happen. I'll try this without the microphone. Just the microphone that's in the camera. Let's see if you can't hear me any better. I'll try to keep my voice up. But I'm just changing the bucket for the grapple so I can load the deck again. I think John Deere's got that quick connect business down pat. No big levers to mess with. Nothing to get frozen. Other than the quick connects. I think the quick connects, um, they gather snow in the, the collars that haul, that slide back. They'll freeze from time to time, but that's all there is to that. That's attached. So. Plant bottom one is frozen. Nope, it's turning. <clears throat> Too fat to reach over that loader. starting to warm up here today it's um about minus four or five it was minus 10 this morning when i got up again it seems to be in that sweet spot of temperature gloves are on the hood i wouldn't be able to do that with the cab <laughs> make sure i get those hoses on the right direction it wouldn't be the first time i put the uh the hoses on backwards and the same freaking out it's a learning curve i can't get through my head notice it when I'm seeing myself in the screen, how much we're moving, how much I'm bouncing around.
So this cord has to go quite a ways away, about a oh, 35 minute drive probably from here. And uh, I have an errand to make in the meantime. So I'll always try to kill two birds with one stone if at all possible. Maximize the efficiency. I just filled this truck up this morning. It costs uh, right now at today's fuel prices, an empty tank of fuel would cost me 220, 220 bucks in this uh, truck. And that allows me to drive roughly 700 kilometers towing a trailer, about a thousand kilometers not towing a trailer. You know, I might want to put another log in here. I'll get this flaked out. It's, it's got to be level with the top of this board to make a cord. I hope this uh, channel doesn't get repetitive. I know there's lots of firewood channels that they get great growth when they start out. And then the growth peters off because it's just the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And I want to make sure that there's at least some fresh content. It's not going to appeal to everybody all the time. And just for the sake of, believe it or not, memory <laughs> on my device that I did the time lapse. Because, of course, it's, you can put about uh, oh, a quart of wood in about 30 seconds, 40 seconds or so on a time lapse if I speed it up properly. Then I'll find some crappy canned music to go along with it, which you've already heard if you've listened this far in the video. By the time I get it edited. All right. No, I think that's good. That's a good cord. I'm happy with that. Don't see too many. Nobody will have any issues with that. Still above the sideboards a bit. And driving along the bumpy roads, this will settle in here. Contents may settle during shipping. And where this isn't wood that's dry, look at the stack. This will shrink as well. So I want to make sure there's a little bit to compensate for for uh, this wood as it shrinks when it dries out. And it shrinks a fair bit. You'd be surprised. In a, my uh, firewood fire or my woodshed, the uh, tiers are about six feet high inside of it and I put green wood in and then when it's time for me to burn that wood it's down a few inches so I've got a certain subscriber who doesn't like it when I speak in metric so him and I have been bantering back and forth it's fun it's quite a little family that we've got here that up here starting to know some of some people's personalities by their humor anyway I just wanted to make a quick quart of wood and explain to you that there's going to be some uh, upcoming product review videos and don't feel obligated to watch them. They're an, a revenue stream for me. and But also in the same token, don't be offended and unsubscribe because it's not what you signed up for. Just wait till the next video or two and uh, I'll get back into the regular swing of things so anyway I'm gonna get my lunch yeah 11 30 took me uh, almost two hours by the time I messed with all this I had to go down to the house for a little bit I had to do a couple of invoices and email them away and then of course I got involved with uh, a pot of coffee and then uh, anyway my time got absorbed so thanks everybody for watching see you on the next video over and out